Hello mga ka-wisdom. Welcome to Wisdom is Power Channel. Kung bago ka lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Salamat! Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin about the different types of PC motors. So, as you can see, yung different types of DC motors natin is uh, naka-categorize siya sa tatlo, no? Yung tinatawag nating separately excited, self-excited, and permanent magnet. Yung self-excited naman, nahati uli sa tatlong classification. Una yung shunt wound, compound wound, and series wound. Dito sa compound wound, Nahati na naman siya sa short shunt and long shunt compound DC motors. So, separately excited DC motors, as the name signifies, the windings are energized by a separate DC source, which means a separate DC supply is given to both the field winding and armature winding. So, kailangan pa natin ng separate DC supply para may energize yung ating uh, mga winding. The field winding and the armature winding. Number two, the self-excited DC motors. In this type of motor, the current in the windings is supplied by the motor itself. Hence, self-excited. Self-excited DC motor is further divided into shunt wound, series wound, and compound wound motors. So let's discuss the series wound motor. It is a DC series motor having its field winding connected in series with the armature winding. The same current flows in the field and armature winding. So makikita natin dito, we have yung V natin, yung ating supply voltage, at yung I sub L natin, ang ating load current. Yung I sub SE, yung ating series field winding or the current in the series field winding while the RS sub SE is the resistance in the series field winding. I sub A is the the current in the armature and E sub B is the uh, back EMF. So for the equations, uh, the back EMF is equals to supply voltage minus armature current multiplied by the sum of armature resistance and the series field winding resistance. Minus also 2 multiplied by V sub B. So that is the brush contact voltage drop. So, kung titingnan natin yung circuit natin, the load current is equals to the armature current, which is also equals to the series field current or the series field winding current. So, since siya ay series, so iisa lang yung current na uh, nagpo-flow doon sa ating uh, circuit. For the shunt wound motor, the word shunt means parallel. It is because the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature winding. So makikita natin sa ating uh, circuit diagram, we have the shunt field nakaparallel siya dun sa ating armature winding. And nakaparallel din ito dun sa ating supply voltage. So the equation also for the back AMF is equals to B minus I sub A multiply by R sub A minus 2B B. So using Ohm's law, maku pwede natin makuha yung current flowing dun sa ating shunt field winding. So yung I sub SH is equals to voltage divided by the resistance of the shunt field winding. So if we're going to apply KCL, at node A or the Kirchhoff's current no, at node A, then we can say that the armature current is equals to load current minus 
di Chantil Sharan. Short shunt compound motor. In short shunt DC compound motor, the armature winding and the shunt field winding are connected in parallel. This combined parallel connection is then connected in series with the series field winding to construct the machine. So as we can see in our circuit, itong ating Isabel, magpo-flow lang siya. Tutuloy siya sa series field winding natin. So tatawagin natin yung current ng buhay magpo dito sa series field winding natin na I sub SE. Paglampas niya dito sa may node dito, okay? so may pupunta sa armature, so tawag natin doon ay armature current, at meron ding magpo na current dito sa ating shunt field resistance. This is, tawag na natin ay I sub SH. So for our equations, so, Isabel, so as we can see, is equals to I sub SE. And I sub SE is equals to the armature current plus the shunt field current. So, the, the equation for the back EMF of this uh, short shunt compound motor shall be V minus Isabel multiplied by the resistance in the series field winding minus armature current multiplied by the armature resistance. The long shunt compound motor, in this type of compound motor, the shunt field winding is connected across the series combination of the armature and series field winding. So based from our uh, circuit diagram, we can derive the following equation. The back EMF is equal to V minus I sub A, quantity R sub A plus R sub S E minus 2 V B. So, if we're going to neglect the, the voltage drop in the brush contact, then it will simply back EMF is equals to V minus I sub A, R sub A minus I sub A multiplied by R sub S E. So, the shunt field current is equal to voltage divided by the shunt resistance, where uh, the armature current is equal to the load current minus the shunt field winding current. So armature current, as we can see, so isa lang dahil si ay nakasiris sa series field winding natin. So let's have practice problem number one. The armature and series speed winding resistance of a 250 volt 4 pole DC circuit DC series motor is 0 0.75 ohm. It has 782 wave wound armature conductors. If it draws 40 amperes from the supply main and has a flux of 25 milliweber, determine its speed and gross torque developed. Neglect brush contact drop. So let's have the following given. The voltage is equal to 250 volts. The number of pole is 4. The armature resistance and the series field winding resistance have a total of 0 0.75 ohm. And the number of parallel paths is equal to 2 because this is a wave wound. And the number of conductors is equal to 782. Since the load current is also equals to the armature current, which is equals to 40 ampere. And the flux is equals to 25 milli weather. So we are asked to solve for the speed and also the torque developed. So using our equation for the back EMF, since uh, that will be equals to 250 minus 40 multiplied by 0 0.75 nung sum nung ating armature resistance and the series field uh, resistance. So the back EMF is equals to 250 volts. Since we have already the equation for the back EMF and we are asked to solve for the, the speed, then counting manipulation lang, no? Doon sa ating equation, 
then we can get the value of the uh, speed rotation using the values given. Then the speed rotation is equal to 337.6 RPM or revolution per minute. Then for letter B, for the torque developed, so we have also the equation for the torque is equal to 9.55. Uh, back multiplied by back AMF multiplied by the armature current all over the rotation speed. So using our data or the values given, so we can solve for the torque that is equal to 248.93 newton meter. So practice problem number two, the armature and shunt field resistance of a six pole lap wound DC motor is 0 0.05 ohm and 25 ohms respectively. If its armature contains 500 conductors, find the speed of the motor when it takes 120 ampere from a 100 volts DC supply. The flux per pole is two times 10 to the negative two Weber. So we have the following given, the armature resistance is equal to 0 0.05 and the shunt field resistance it equals to 25 ohm. And the voltage is 100 volts. The number of pole is 6. And the, the number of parallel path is 6 because this is a lap wound motor. And the number of conductors is equal to 500. The load current is equal to 120 ampere. And the flux per pole is 2 times 10 to the negative 2 Weber. So in this problem, we are asked to solve for the speed of the motor. And so to solve for that, so let's have the circuit diagram. So as we can see, the load current is equal to 120 ampere, and the armature resistance is 0 0.05, and the shunt field resistance is equal to 25 ohms, and the supply voltage is 100 volts. So using Ohm's law, we can solve for the shunt field current is equal to voltage divided by the shunt resistance. So we can get the value of the shunt field current which is equal to 4 amperes. So using TCL, I sub A is equal to the load current minus the shunt current. So that is equal to 116 amperes. Using our equation for the back EMF, we can solve for the value of the back EMF, which is equal to 94.2 volts. Then solving for the, the speed of the motor, then we can have it by substituting all the values given. Then the value of the speed of the motor is equal to 565.2 RPM. So practice problem number three, a 220 volt DC short shunt compound motor has an armature, series field, and shunt field resistance of 0 0.2 ohms, 0 0.1 ohm, and 80 ohm respectively. If the armature current at rated load is 45 amperes, solve the horsepower developed in the armature. So let's have the following given. So using this given and uh, the diagram below. So pwede nating masolve yung ang hinahanap na sa ating horsepower. So ang solution natin, so from our equation, uh, from our circuit diagram, we can see that the load current is equals to the series field current. At kung gagamitan naman natin siya ng KCL dito sa node na ito, so makikita natin the, the series field current is equal to armature current plus the shunt field current. So using this equation, pwede natin sabihin the shunt uh, current is equal to I sub load o I sub L is minus 45. So tawagin natin siyang equation 1. And alam natin na yung 
voltage drop doon sa shunt field natin using Ohm's law is IR so that is equals to voltage no? plus I sub L R, S, uh, R sub FE kung kukunin natin ng kagamitan natin ng KBL. So, using this equation para makuha natin yung shunt current so that will be equals to uh, shunt current is equals to 220 plus 0.1 isabel all over AP. So, tawagin natin itong equation number 2. So, since meron na tayong dalawang equation, meron din tayong dalawang unknown, so, pwede na natin siyang i-equate para masolve natin yung isang variable which is which is I sub L. So, to get the value of I sub L, that is simply 47.81 amperes. Then, since may value na tayo ng ating current, then we can solve for the back EMF 220 minus 47.81 multiplied by the value of the series resistance that is 0 0.1 Minus 45, which is the value of the armature current, multiplied by the armature resistance of 0 0.2. Then we get the value of back EMF 206.22 volts. Therefore, we can solve for the power develop using our equation back EMF multiplied by the armature resistance, uh, armature current, I mean. So that is the power developed will be 9,280 watts. Since we are asked to solve for the horsepower, so I convert na natin itong 9,280 watts given na one horsepower is equals to 746 watts. So therefore, the horsepower of the armature is 12.44 horsepower or simply 12 horsepower. So, practice problem number four, a 75 kilowatts long shunt compound DC motor has a shunt field resistance of 60 ohms and a series field resistance of 0 0.02 ohms. The armature resistance is 0 0.2 ohms and the rated voltage is 200 volt, 40 volts. So, determine the back EMF. So, for the given, as shown in our circuit, the, the shunt field resistance is 60 ohms, the series field resistance is 0 0.02, and the armature resistance is 0 0.2, and the supply voltage is 240 volts. And we are asked to solve for the back EMF. So using our equation for the long shunt compound DC motor, so we can see that uh, we don't have the value of IA or the armature current. So, para masolve natin yung armature current using uh, KCL dito sa node na to, the armature current is equals to load current minus the shunt field, uh, the, the shunt field current. So, that is, para makuha natin yung load current that is using Ohm's law, that is uh, the power formula, I mean, the power divided by voltage. So that is 75,000 watts divided by 240 volts. That is equals to 312.5 amperes. And to solve for the shunt field current, that is equals to voltage using Ohm's law, voltage divided by shunt field resistance, that is equals to 240 divided by 60 ohms, that is equals to 4 amperes. So since nakuha na natin yung dalawang value, pwede na natin masolve yung armature current, which is equal to 308.5 amperes. So now we have already the value for the armature current. Yeah, substitute na lang natin doon sa ating given equation. So, ang total volt uh, back EMF natin will be 172.13 volts. So that's all mga kawisdam. Again, kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, mag-comment, at i-share ang video ito. Click mo na rin ang notification bell to receive more wisdom videos na katulad nito. Kita-kits sa next wisdom video. Thank you.